Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. And today in this video, I'll tell you about the Legendre's differential equation, right? So in the previous video, I told you about the cauchy euler So let us see what is the difference between cauchy euler and Legendre's differential equation. A very minute difference is there. So in cauchy euler differential equation, along with the derivatives, we had the same powers of x multiplied. Now we have a linear term that is a plus bx multiplied along with the differential coefficients, right? So you can see that when the differential coefficient is dy by dx, we will have a plus bx multiplied with it. If it is the derivative n, n minus 1 -th order derivative, we will have a plus bx to the power n minus 1. If it is n nth order derivative, then we have a plus bx to the power n. The strategy of solving the Legendre differential equation is quite similar like we had done in cauchy euler So there we were substituting x as e raised to power t. Now here we will be substituting a plus bx equal to e raised to power t so that all these linear terms they get converted to some constant coefficients, right? So let us see how does the working methodology says. So we will convert, we will put a plus bx as you can put e to the power t, you can put e to the power z. So it's your choice, right? So we put a plus bx as e raised to power z. So z becomes log of a plus bx. So now when we are converting the con variable x in terms of z, so we have to convert the differential coefficient also in terms of z. So dy by dx is dy by dz into dz by dx. So we know that if z is log a plus bx, we can take the derivative. So from here, what will be dz by dx? dz by dx will be nothing but 1 upon a plus bx multiplied by b. So we can substitute the value of dz by dx over here. And this becomes b upon a plus bx multiplied by dy by dz. So cross multiply with a plus bx on both sides. So we get a plus bx into dy by dx is b times dy by dz, right? So now when we convert this into a symbolic form, we can put d by dx as capital D and we can put d by dz as capital. You can put it theta, it is your choice, right? So we have only converted the new variable. So d capital D is d by dz. So a plus bx into dy by dx is b times d, right? Now let us see what happens with the second order. So with the second order, what we will do, d2y by dx square can be written as d by dx of dy by dx. So this is d by dx of dy by dx we have just calculated. It is b upon a plus bx into dy by dz. So now when we apply the product rule, it will be b by a plus bx constant into derivative of dy by dz. And then dy by dz will be kept constant and we will take the derivative of b upon a plus bx, which comes out to be minus b square upon a plus bx whole square, right? And now we can again replace this dz by dx with b by a plus bx. So we will get b square upon a plus bx square common in both the terms. We can cross multiply and we get a plus bx whole square into d square y by dx square is minus of b square dy by dz plus b square d2y by dz square. And now when you replace it with capital D, it will get converted to b square d into d minus 1 y. So we get an expression that a plus bx square d2y by dx square is nothing but b square into d into d minus 1, right? Now likewise, so we will get a method a general method that if it, a, if it is a plus bx whole cube d cube y by dx cube it will get converted to b cube into d d minus 1 d minus 2 into y if it is a plus bx whole raised to power n into nth derivative it will be b to the power n d d minus 1 d minus 2 so on up till d minus n minus 1 into y. right so based upon this method like let's try to solve this question we have 1 plus x whole square d2y by dx square plus 1 by x dy by dx plus y is sine 2 into log 1 plus x. So first of all, what we do, we substitute as 1 plus x as e raised to power z. So from here, we get z is equal to log 1 plus x. 
So now when we convert, we will get 1 plus x square d2y by dx square will be their coefficient of x is 1. So it is 1 square into you can write theta, you can write capital D, it's your choice, right? So I'm writing theta, theta into theta minus 1y and 1 plus x dy by dx will be 1 into theta y, right? Now let's convert this equation. This is theta square minus theta into y plus theta y plus y is equal to sine 2 log 1 plus x is z. So this is sine 2z. So you can take out y common from all the expressions and this is into 1 y is equal to sine 2z. So theta gets cancelled. We have theta square plus 1 into y is equal to sine 2z. So now you can see that it is getting converted to a constant coefficient. So we can work out the complementary solution as m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So m is equal to plus minus iota. So complementary solution is c1 cos z plus c2 sine, right? Because we are solving the equation in theta and theta symbolizes d by dz. So finally, what is z? z is log 1 plus x. So we can replace it as log 1 plus x plus c2 sine log 1 plus x. Right. And then let's work out for the complement, uh, sorry, the particular integral. Yp is 1 upon theta square plus 1 into sine 2z. So this is the rule which says theta square should be replaced with minus 4. This is minus 4 plus 1, that is minus 3, and we get sine 2z over here. Right. So this is finally minus 1 by 3 sine. 2z means 2 log 1 plus x. So what is our final solution? So the final solution comes out to be y is equal to c1 cos log 1 plus x plus c2 log, sorry, sine log 1 plus x sine log 1 plus x and the particular integral works out to be minus 1 by 3 sine 2 log 1 plus x. Right? And this becomes our final answer. Right? So I hope you have understood this method. Right? So do work out these examples to check out your understanding on this topic. And if you have any doubts in these questions, do ask me in the comment section. I'll answer. And thank you so much for listening. So those of you who have, who like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. So believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.